Hey guys, so I'm in the shed today and I'm having way too much fun. So I've started making, I saw an artist on Pinterest who upcycled tea bags and she like um, did needlepoint on them. They were so cute, but it gave me an idea to make them using wood tags. And so um, we have these made and cut because I want them to look more like tea bags. So you guys notice they're not as long as the, the um, normal tags that you see. But I've kind of already started having fun. So this is like, you know, the part of the tea bag where it's outside of your cup and then this is the tea bag. But you can hang this on stuff and it'll be super cute. Um, and it's just another way to have fun and display things that you love in your home, right? So this is one that I made and of course it's kind of grungy because you guys know I love that. And I actually used the hardware decoupage paper to put bricks on this one behind all of the grunge on this. And then I actually made another one that's super sweet. Um, and I made this one and I decoupage some scraps of decoupage paper on the back. And then I used the new transfer from Iron Orchid Design, you guys. This one is so cute. It's a smaller format, which means that the price point is gonna be lower than the normal transfers. And there is so much yumminess in here. So this is called the Ephemeral Melange. And there is so much, um, like um, vintage ephemeral artwork in here. I stole a little thing out of there for my tea bag, so that one is cut. But you guys can see there are some that are larger scale like these, so you could still potentially use them on larger home decor projects or on furniture, right? Um, because they're large enough to be able to do that. But then you also have a ton of smaller ones. So you have all these labels, um, and I may be using, I don't know which one we're gonna use today, but we're gonna use one of these smaller labels today and then you have more labels but they're a little bit larger so you have like um, different sizes right um, but it's all ephemeral um, labels and things and it's just a super cute transfer so today we're going to be using the ephemeral melange transfer and then I have some scraps so small projects like this are super fun you guys know when we decoupage, we never throw away our scraps. And so these are projects where you pull out those scraps um, and you can use them to help make you make something, um, to create something fabulous. Hi, my name is Royce Hunt Bell, owner of Royce Cycle the Treasures. Let's get started. I'm gonna start off by painting my tag, my dirty tag apparently, white. Um, I always like to start off with a white background when I'm decoupaging because it's really gonna help um, to really show off the image that I'm gonna decoupage over the top. So we're gonna start with decoupage. I used, um, this one was actually left over from a piece of the Halloween Project Blocks decoupage paper um, and that's what I used on this tag just the background pieces I wanted it to be warm so that's what I used here but I think I want my next one to be more like sweet and not no not necessarily warm and I also have a piece left over from my vintage ad decoupage paper which I could honestly just use one of these ads to create a tag but I'm thinking that this one is pretty warm too and that's not quite what I'm going for so I think I'm going to use this piece that's left over from the ephemeral collage um, decoupage paper for this project. And I have this piece here that's just script that's right here. So I'm only gonna use um, like a background piece. So something that doesn't have a ton, just enough to add interest though to my tag. Or should I use that piece? That's, uh, I'll use the script. So I don't have to compete with my flowers I'm going to put on there. Now today I'm doing a really quick decoupage, but if you guys want like step-by-step -step instructions on how to decoupage, you can find several videos in this playlist. So today I'm using Wise Owls one hour enamel to decoupage with 
um, because I'm going to be going over the top with transfers. So you guys know I love using the one hour enamel when I decoupage, um, when I'm using transfers because the transfers really love the one hour enamel clear and they adhere readily and firmly. So that's what we're using today to do our decoupage. And this is a small one, so it's fairly simple, right? And I'm gonna tell you guys, these tags are so addictive because by the time you get to the middle of one design, you're gonna think of another idea and they're so quick to make that you can make them. It's like instant gratification of an idea. Now that I have my paper down on there, I'm just gonna trim it really quickly. And just that quick, you guys, I have like, I'm already halfway there. And you could just decoupage your tea bag, absolutely, right? You don't have to layer a transfer over the top, but the fun of doing these is the layering. I could do um, a stencil on top of this de decoupage. I could even do like a raised stencil. That would be fun. And then I didn't decoupage my little square. So let me, oh, this is actually perfect. I love a good ledger, you guys. I just love ephemera so much. And if you haven't tried decoupage yet, maybe you've been watching videos, but you haven't tried your own project just yet, um, then a project like this could be a good start. It's a really good opportunity for you to kind of practice, um, and, but you're creating something super cute at the same time. Now I have this hole in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that um, and just poke it right now. And then when I let it dry, I'll go in with a piece of sandpaper and just clean that up. Super cute, right? And so whenever you're using a piece of decoupage paper for your background, sometimes even if you use something like this, it's relatively faint, it can still feel like a little bit too loud. And so what you can do is you can actually use white paint to push it back into the background even further. So I've already sealed this. That's a very important step. Um, and now I'm just going to go over with a little bit of water um, and paint and just kind of push the middle of this um, to the background a little bit more so that when I put my transfer over that it really, really shows up. And I'm just going to dab that off. And then I'll dry this and then I'll resell it and then we'll put the transfer over the top. Okay, you guys, I'm off script right now because I just had a really good idea. I'm thinking if I could take one of my little, either my little chickadee right here or my little lamb and decoupage him over the top and then put flowers on it, that that might be fabulous. But of course, now I have to rethink which flower I want to use. Y'all know I'm a hot mess, right? But this is how it goes, y'all. This is what happens in my brain. Um, some of them have backgrounds on them, like they're a full label. And some of them, the flowers are like, they have just a clear background. So it's just the flowers. And so I want something that doesn't necessarily have a background on it. So I can float it over the top of one of my animals. But I also need for it to be the right size. So like this one is really pretty, but it's a pretty solid design. See, this is what happens when you make these tags, right? So I'm halfway through this one. Now I have another idea. I think I'll just make a separate tag with the chickadee. So even though I'm not done with this tag yet, I already have an idea for the next tag. So we will tarry on with my original decision, which is I want to use this floral right here on this particular tag. Or maybe I'll use this one. I'm going to use the one next to it.
this is what madness looks like. I'm going to use the sheet. I want to use the sheet because he's going to really fill up the frame and then the flowers can be in accents. But I don't want the flowers to go over his face though. Let's fussy cut him out and get a good sense of how, what he's going to look like. I don't know why fussy cutting is so relaxed. You would think it would drive me crazy. And I did all those legs for no reason. Sorry guy, he lost his legs too. Okay, so I'm gonna do um, the sheep, you guys. Okay, I made a decision. But I'm gonna have to modify my original plan some because um, this guy is really, really light. He's white. So if I decoupage him directly over the tag, the script from the tag is gonna come through, which, mm, is that gonna be a bad thing? I don't necessarily want that to happen. Whenever I'm decoupaging and I don't want, if I'm layering my decoupage and I don't want what's underneath to show through the top layer of my decoupage, what I'll do is I'll do something different with my top layer. Um, I'll use a piece of plastic to do the decoupage and then I'll use both paint and clear coat on the back of my piece I'm laying over the top. That way my base doesn't show through. So next we add our flowers, you guys. Each of your transfers always comes with one of these sticks to burnish your transfers. And the thing I love about transfers is once I remove this backing, um, the part that's gonna transfer to my um, to my final piece is just the artwork itself, right? Um, and so I can float this over my decoupage paper. And the only thing that's gonna end up on my project is the actual floral. So there won't be any white backing or anything like that on there. And I'm just going over with the paper just to make sure that there's really good contact between the transfer and my surface. How cute is that? He is so cute, right? Sorry. I'm having way too much fun. These tags are so much fun, you guys. And just think of all the different um, things that you could do on them and they really are a quick craft um, so there's that immediate gratification of finishing your project and not having another like half finished project right like me I have a lot of them so then once um, I'm done with this you guys I'll just tie these together much like I did these other ones and I'll show you a picture of them displayed in my house you guys these are super cute they're super fun um, remember, if you like today's tutorial, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We drop new videos every week. If you want to get an alert whenever we drop a new video, be sure and click the bell so that you'll get alerted. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, everything that I did here, you guys can absolutely go do. You guys can do this and you can do it today. Thank you so much.